I guess I'll start because that was a game like this game yesterday. You know, you guys are kind of at the brink there and still fighting to the last minute. I guess is that as positive a sign as you guys can take from a loss like this to be able to still be battling to that last out even if it's not going your way? Yeah, I think so. I think I think just showing just like we did yesterday that we're uh, never out of it, uh, even going down to that last out. And uh, we had the chance in the ninth, and um, unfortunately we just couldn't finish off the comeback. But um, I think that just kind of goes to show the resilience that our team has. What, did, what have you learned two games behind the block, a guy who really pitches to contact? And for to learn the guys playing behind him on the fly, what, what's been the biggest thing you guys on, on the infield grass and the outfield kind of have to – to keep in mind when he's pitching and how, how I guess, like seeing him pitching and, and putting in zeros, how, how much of a walking sign is that? Then? Yeah, he, he has done an absolutely great job since uh, <clears throat> since joining the rotation. Um, obviously, just the tax hitters doesn't have like that elite stuff that um, a lot of guys do, but um, he really keeps guys off balance and, and throws strikes with multiple pitches. And I think that just kind of goes to show you that you can uh, really compete and, and do a great job at this level even without. Uh, throw in 95, 96. Katie, Katie Woody, Athletic. Tommy, this team seems to score a lot with two out. Can you kind of explain the two out approach that this team has? Yeah, um, I mean, I, th I think it kind of comes from the top. I mean, you see you see guys like Yachty who just have uh, crazy competitive at-bats. Um, I mean, he, you know when, when he gets up there in a clutch situation that Oftentimes he's going to come through, so I think that competitiveness kind of just wears off on the rest of us, and um, we kind of just try to follow suit. I know we've spoken about this the offense production pretty consistently, but does it make it any more frustrating when you can see the success that you've had in games like yesterday, when you see the success that this team has with two outs, to not be able to implement it consistently? Yeah, I mean, I, I think we just need to do a better job of, of uh, getting guys on early in the inning it kind of seems like we we start off with uh no runners on um end up with two outs nobody on a lot so i think we just need to kind of do a better job of of uh just being tough in the box and doing whatever we can to get on base in those first two batters does that play into a, a change of approach or maybe looking for things differently out there um i mean not necessarily i think maybe just kind of go more towards uh doing your best to get on base rather than trying to drive the ball out of the ballpark. Obviously, it, it depends on each hitter, but if I come up in the uh, to lead off an inning, I'm obviously just going to do my best to uh, get on the base and get get on base and get things going. So um, it depends from guy to guy, but <clears throat> I think that's definitely something we can do a better job of. Thanks, Tommy. Derek Gould. Tommy, this is one to ask you real quick, what you make of these three games, yeah, it's it's definitely been a weird kind of series. Um, I mean, you come here and expect, ex excuse me, expect the games to be kind of high scoring, but and the the weird thing is there hasn't really been. Uh, haven't really been that many strikeouts either. It's just been hitting a lot of ground balls right at guys, a lot of deep flyouts, and. Um, I think that it's kind of just one of those things where we just haven't been able to get hits to fall. Um, I feel like we haven't been taking bad at bats. It's just they, they'll, uh, the other pitchers, opposing pitchers have been making pitches when they need to and um, kind of getting us to uh, put the ball in play right at guys.